Hello people and welcome to the Counterfactual Stories YouTube channel. In today's episode we will talk about uh, another Israeli secret agency. This time we will talk about the General Secret Service or Shimbet. Before we start, don't forget to press subscribe button. Shimbet is one of three principal organizations of the Israeli intelligence community alongside with Aman military intelligence and Mossad foreign intelligence service. Shabak or Shin Bet is believed to have three operational wings. The Arab department, responsible primarily for Arab-related counter-terrorism activities in Israel, the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. The Israel and Foreigners Department, formerly named the Non-Arab Affairs Department, it includes the Department for Counterintelligence and Prevention of Subversion in the Jewish sector, also known as the Jewish Department. It is responsible for preventing espionage and for dealing with extremists who carry out actions such as terrorism against the state and the democratic regime. As its original concerns mostly related to the communist bloc, it shrank after the fall of the Soviet Union, but rose again in importance in response to Jewish terrorist activity beginning in the early 80s. And the Protective Security Department, responsible for protecting high-value individuals and locations in the country, such as government officials, embassies, airports and research facilities. Although a security agency, it is not a part of the Israeli Ministry of Defense and its chief answers directly to the Prime Minister of Israel. Shabak or Shimbet uh, duties uh, are safeguarding state security, exposing terrorist rings, interrogating uh, uh, terror suspects, providing intelligence for counter-terrorism operation in the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, counter-espionage, personal protection of senior public officials, securing important infrastructure and government buildings, and safeguarding Israeli airlines and overseas embassies. Now let's talk about the history of Shimbet. With the Israeli Declaration of Independence in 1948, the Shabak was founded as a branch of the Israel Defense Forces and was initially headed by Isser Harel, the father of Israeli intelligence, who later headed the Mossad. Responsibility for Shabak activity, activity, activity was later moved from the IDF to the office of the Prime Minister. During the 1948 uh, Arab-Israeli War, Shimbek's responsibilities including all internal security affairs. In February 1949, a short while before the end of the war, its responsibilities were extended to counter-espionage. One of the Shabak's leading success was obtaining a copy of the secret speech made by Nikita Khrushchev in 1956, in which he denounced, uh, denounced Stalin. A Polish edition of the speech was provided to the Israeli embassy in Warsaw by the boyfriend of the secretary of the Polish communist official. The Shabak's Polish uh, liaison officer conveyed the copy to Israel. The Israeli government then decided to share the information with the United States, which published it uh, with Israeli approval. On the other hand, a study published in 2013 by Matitahu Maizel cast doubt on the story arguing that the speech was not secret and that it was conveyed to the West by multiple sources including Soviet political and intelligence agencies. And agencies. A notable uh, achievement in the counter-espionage was in 1961 the capture of Israel Beer, who was revealed to be a Soviet spy. Beer was a lieutenant colonel in the reserves a senior security commentator and close friend of Ben Gurion and uh, reached high Israeli circles. Beer was tried and sentenced uh, uh, to 10 years in prison, later extended by the Supreme Court to 15 years following his appeal, where he died. A year before, Kurt Sitt, a Christian German from the Sudetenland and professor in the uh, Tekion, was revealed as a Czechoslovakian spy. In 1967, an Egyptian-Israeli double agent, Rifat Ad-Gamal, 
gave Egypt false information about Israeli battle plans, claiming it would begin, begin with the ground operations. The Egyptian tools left their aircraft on open runways, which enabled the Israeli Air Force to knock out Egypt, Egypt, Egypt Air Force within three hours of outbreak of the Six-Day War. Operation Yated, as it was later known, is considered one of the most successful deceptions in Israeli intelligence history, on a par with Britain's operation uh, means, means, uh, means meet during the World War II. After the war, monitoring terrorist activity in the West Bank and Gaza Strip became a major part of Shabak's mission. During the 1984 and 1986, Shabak experienced a major crisis following the Kalf 300 affair in which four Palestinian militants hijacked a bus. Two of hijackers were killed uh, in ensuing standoff and the other two were killed uh, shortly after being taken into the custody by Shabak officers who later covered up the event and conspired to frame a senior IDF officer. Following the affair, Shabak had Abram Shalom was forced to, to resign. The 1987 Landau Commission set up investigate Shabak interrogation methods, criticized the organization and established guidelines uh, to regulate what forms of physical pressure could be used on prisoners. Among the practice, authorized were keeping prisoners in extra uh, crucially uncomfortable postures, covering their heads with a filthy and moldering sacks and depriving them of sleep. Human rights groups in Israel maintained that this amounts uh, to torture. A 1995 official report by Miriam Ben Porat made public in 2000 showed that Shimbet routinely went beyond the moderate physical pressure authorized by the Landau Commission. In the report, Israel admitted for the first time that Palestinian detainees were tortured during the First Intifada between 1988 and 1992. In 1995, the Shimbet failed to protect the Israeli Prime Minister Itzhak Rabin, who was assassinated by the right-wing Israeli radical Yigal Amir. Shimbet had discovered Amir's plans and a Shimbet agent was sent to monitor Amin and reported that Amir was not a threat. Following the assassination, the Shabak director Karmi Gilon resigned preemptively. Later, the Shamgar Commission pointed the serious flaws in the personal security unit. Another source of embarrassment and criticism was the violent, provocative and initiating behavior of Avshai Raviv, an informer of the Shabak's Jewish unity during the time leading up to the assassination. Later, Raviv was acquitted uh, of the charges that he encouraged Yigal Amir to kill Yitzhak uh, Rabin. A few months after the Rabin assassination, Hamas chief bomb maker Yahya Ayash was assassinated in the targeted killing in which an explosive device was planted in the cellular phone. Gilon was replaced by Israeli Navy Admiral Ami Ayalon, who helped to restore organizational morale after the debacle of the Rabin assassination and to rehabilitate its public image. In 2000, Ayalon was replaced by Avi Dichter, an ex Sayaret Matkal commando and experienced Shabak agent who uh, tightened the working relationship with the Israeli Defense Forces and Israeli police. Dichter was charged uh, when the Al Aqsa Intifada erupted. He turned Shabak into a prominent player in the war on terrorism after the collapse of 2000 Camp David summit. In November 2003, four former heads of Shabak, Avram Shalom, Yaakov Perry, Karmi Gilon and Ami Ayalon, called upon the government of Israel to reach a peace agreement with the Palestinians. In May 2005, Dichter was replaced by uh, Yival Diskin, who served until 2011. In 2007, the service launched the first, uh, its first ever public recruitment drive, unveiling a sleek website and buying online ads in Israel and abroad in a campaign aimed at attaching top player computer programmers to its cutting edge IT division. On March 18, 2008, it was announced that Shabak's official website would also offer a blog where Four of its agents will discuss anonymously how they were recruited and what sort of work they perform. 
they would also answer questions sent in by members of the public. The decision to launch the blog was made by the Shinbest Top Brass, including Hedy Evil Diskin, and is part of an attempt to attra- attract high-tech workers to the agency growing IT department. According to Shobak officers, the website and blog are aimed also at promoting a more accessible and positive public image for the Secret Service long associated with the dark undercover and even violent activity. In 2011, Yoram Cohen was chosen as a new head of Shabak. In 2016, Nadav Argaman was chosen as a new head of Shabak. And on October 11, 2021, Ronin Barr was announced as the next head of ESA. I hope you like this episode. Don't forget to press subscribe button and see you very soon. Bye.